Hi, the hummingbirds just migrated back to Massachusetts a few days ago. I'm always so excited when I see them. They have such a long migration. So I always put my feeders out right about the last week of April so that they're ready when they show up. So I'm going to show you how to make your own hummingbird food. It's much cheaper to make your own than to go and buy it pre-made at the store. Measure out two cups of water and place it in the microwave and bring it to a boil. It takes about three minutes in the microwave. After your two cups of water have come to a boil, pour in a half a cup of sugar. I use a little miniature wire whisk or you can use a fork and just stir it until it's dissolved. This is enough sugar water for two bird feeders. So I'll make it up in the morning, let it cool off, and I'll fill the feeders later on. I used still white vinegar to clean my hummingbird feeders. I buy it by the gallon. It's less than two bucks. I pour it directly into the feeder in the glass jar. And I use a bottle brush, scrub it really good, and rinse it out thoroughly with hot water to make sure there isn't any vinegar odor left. Also, do not add red food coloring to the water. A lot of people think that you're supposed to put red food coloring in because some of the pre-made food has red dye. They don't need the dye. The feeder will normally attract birds because it's red. Hummingbirds love red. But if you are having a difficult time getting them. The very first year someone had suggested to me to hang red ribbon and it would blow in the wind and that attracted the hummingbirds. So the first year I did that and I've had them for 15 years now. So I have to finish cleaning these before I fill them. So I just finished cleaning and filling my hummingbird feeder. I have one hanging on the house and the other one is on a pole in my garden. This is the best thing ever. It's an ant guard. I think it costs like five bucks. For years the ants used to you know climb up the pole, come down, they'd be all over my feeder and when I'd bring it into the house to clean them, ants would just be pouring out. So this keeps the ants away from your feeders. So it is a great thing to have. I put out a half an orange on a headless nail in a stainless steel bowl that I got at PetSmart. It's a parrot dish and I fill that with grape jelly. You'll get Orioles, Catbirds, red belly Woodpeckers, and Mockingbirds. They love oranges and grape jelly. Just be careful when you pull the stainless steel bowl down because oftentimes you'll find yellow jackets and bees and different wasps in the jelly so you don't want to get stung.